Scott. I'm the president of the Nepal Conservative Alliance. Uh, the DCA is a student organization who seeks to engage the university community in a true marketplace of ideas where vigorous intellectual discussions are paramount. Uh, we're a nonpartisan organization that welcomes and promotes all flavors of conservatism. Uh, for more information about the DCA, you can visit our website at www.nepalca.org. Uh, now, I just read to all of you our mission statement, and uh, if you'll notice, there's nothing in there about uh, clubbing seals, reinstating the Jim Crow laws, or burning witches at the stake. So if uh, you were interested in any of that in the DCA, uh, you've come to the wrong group. Uh, I do want to thank again all of you for coming out here, uh, especially considering the controversy uh, surrounding the event, which is perhaps uh, why you were all here in the first place. Uh, on that note, uh, before we begin, I do want to say a few words about the idea of university and free speech, uh, because that is the cornerstone of why we are having this event this evening. Uh, the university should be a place where no idea goes unchallenged, especially provided that all ideas are even allowed to be discussed. Since this event was announced, there have been many members of the university community who believe that this event should be canceled too offensive, it's insensitive, and it makes certain students, particularly illegal immigrants, uncomfortable. Well, a university is not about feeling comfortable. The pursuit of truth is often not the case. In fact, a university isn't about feelings, really. It's about thinking and reason. If ideas are offensive, so be it. It is your responsibility as a student to respond to the ideas you disagree with, not protest them. Your protests demonstrate nothing except for the fact that the university isn't doing its job in teaching you how to tackle alternative ideas. In fact, they're saying the opposite. The university is telling you, the faculty is telling you, that you're silenced by offensive speech. Well, I know that students are better than that. And I would encourage you all to listen to the ideas here tonight and find it in yourself as a student and as your human responsibility to respond intellectually. And you all will have the opportunity to respond, because the way things are going to work tonight is that our guest, uh, Mr. Simcox, will speak first. Then you will hear from a professor of the Religious Studies Department, uh, Dr. Charles Strain, who will provide a brief response. The two men then will have a moderated discussion, uh, uh, moderated by Jeff Berkowitz. And then you will all have an open mic question and answer session. Uh, again, thank you for being here and for the introduction of Mr. Simcox. I want to bring up the Vice President of the Nepal Conservative Alliance, Nick Pastor. Thank you. 